Oh, we get this body snatched. I need you to hurry up and get my records down to the doctor's office, okay? Ma'am. I'm telling y'all, none of these videos set me up for success, but that's okay. So don't don't steal from me. Please don't steal from me. Please go down there and like this video and subscribe to your girl channel and comment down below. Okay, that's 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 how I take my forms of payment in subscriptions and likes and comments. Okay. Okay. First and foremost, ask your surgeon what do they need you to do in order to prepare for surgery as soon as you get the date for your surgery. Two weeks before your surgery is when you really need to start preparing for the surgery, which is getting your labs, getting all the supplies that you're going to need. Because one thing about it today is for sure, you do not want to be in my position trying to get things together. <clears throat> in the last minute because baby, if this wasn't a wig, I'd be bald because I'd be pulling out all my hair, okay? So two weeks prior to surgery, do not eat any, do not take any aspirins or medication that contains aspirin. Do not take any ibuprofen. They don't allow that because I guess it thins your blood or it's, it, it, oh no, it interferes with blood clotting. Discontinue all herbal medications. Discontinue all diet pills. No mega doses of vitamin E. No vitamin E at all. Um, no smoking. That includes hookah. Y'all know right now is I want listen. My thing is is <clears throat> pause real fast, real fast. I can go without drinking. I can go without doing hookah if I choose to do so. But when somebody is telling me to do it. Then I have a problem. Then I have my little crackhead tendencies to where I'm like, <laughs> like I, I, I want to do hookah so bad, but I can't. So when it says no smoking, that includes hookah. Um, so if you have a headache or any pain, you can take Tylenol, but don't take ibuprofen or aspirin. And it says, start taking a multivitamin each day and continue it through your recovery. The healthier you are, the quicker your recovery will be. The pills that you need to take, I'm gonna show you that. But let me say this, before you're going to do your labs, start taking all the vitamins I'm about to tell you, like a week and a half prior to taking your labs. So if you're gonna take your labs two weeks before your surgery, start taking these supplements or vitamins a week and a half before. That way your body has not absorbed all of that perfectly, 100%. So you don't have to redo any labs. So you don't have to possibly lose your surgery day or have any complications. So boom, here we go. Folic acid, vitamin D, vitamin C, zinc. I know it's a lot, but zinc. If somebody told me this, iron. One week prior to surgery, do not take or drink any alcohol or drugs. If your skin can tolerate, use a germ inhibiting soap for baths such as Dial, Safeguard, or Lever 2000 for at least a week before the surgery. The soap that I am going to, they're going to tell you that they sell it at their um, facility. Don't buy it. Cause it's gonna be mad expensive, okay? Mad expensive. Go to Walmart and get this. This is nine dollars at Walmart. This is what you can use. If you go to Target, it's gonna be like fifteen dollars, twelve to fifteen dollars. Go to Walmart, get this. Screenshot it. This is what you're gonna to use to shower with before surgery. My coordinator told me two days before surgery to start using this, but this say one week, so I guess I'm gonna have to start using it now. But this is going to eliminate as much bacteria as possible. That way, when you are Going to surgery, you can limit the risk of infection a lot. I was gonna try to use a big word, but try a lot. Okay, use this, you're gonna be good. And get it at Walmart. It's in the it's in the um, the section where the peroxide is, the band-aids, that's where it's at, it's over there. Boom. Do report any signs of cold, infections, or boils, or 
um hopefully i'm gonna put it on the screen because i can't read that word appearing before surgery do not take any cough or cold medications without permission do arrange for a responsible adult to ooh, i told y'all do arrange for a responsible adult to drive you to and from the facility day of surgery since you will not be allowed to leave on your own no ubers no taxis no buses none of that you have to have somebody stay with you at least 24 hours after your surgery that way they can help you with your pills so you don't end up overtaking or undertaking them that way they can help you move around if need be they can help feed you all of that stuff you need somebody for the first 24 hours okay do yourself a favor and make sure you have somebody who is responsible to watch you all right it also says on the contract i'm this don't make any important decisions within the first 24 hours of your surgery meaning don't sign no documents don't make don't don't break up with your boyfriend okay don't make any sudden decisions or any big decisions within the first 24 hours okay because you're like you're not there you're not you you're you're in uh la la land Okay. Don't go looking at nobody's Instagram. Don't go investigating. Don't go doing anything you're supposed to do for the first 24 hours. Relax. Okay, watch you some Netflix and binge. Oh, my AC is so loud. I'm so sorry, y'all. Boom. Night before surgery and morning of surgery. Do not eat or drink anything, even water, not gum, not candy, not mints, not nothing. After midnight, the night before your surgery. I don't think that, and you know what they said? Um, do not sneak anything as this may endanger you. Child, they just don't want you pooping all over their table and pissing all over their stuff. I think that's what it is, but you know. Mm. Child. If you are on regular medications, please clear this with your doctor. It says my doctor's name there. Do take a thorough shower with your germ inhibiting soap night before and the morning of surgery. Shampoo your hair the morning of surgery. This is to decrease the bacteria on your skin, thereby decreasing the risk of infection. Okay, really take a shower. Don't go in there, rinse all, come out, no. Go in there with a rag, you know, you know get, get in there, get it all the way in there. Do not apply any forms of the following to your skin, hair, or face the morning of surgery. No makeup, no creams, no lotions, no hair, no gel, no sprays, no perfume, no powder, no deodorant. Using any of these products will add bacteria to the skin and increase the risk of infection. Also, they may not be able to mark you up the way that, you know, they're well enough. If you got all that lotion in there, gonna be slipping and sliding all over the place. They ain't gonna be able to mark you up. So then you gonna come out botch, and then you gonna be real mad talking about some Dr. Miami did this, Dr. Miami did that. No, you shouldn't put on lotion. You shouldn't put on perfume. You may brush your teeth the morning of surgery, but don't drink anything. Please don't go in there with stink breath. Please don't do it. Okay, make sure you drink plenty of water before a couple days before your surgery so you know that monk can smell good so that you're not on these people table stinking up the place please alkaline water okay make sure the ph is real good because i heard some stories um do not wear contacts to surgery if you wear glasses bring your glasses case i wear contacts so i would definitely be having to wear glasses do wear comfortable loose fitting clothes that you do not have to pull over your head that's um because i'm getting a breast augmentation and you can't lift your arms past here so there's no way you can put a shirt on so i have this pajama set that i got from amazon because it was sold out at Walmart. Um, that should be loose fitting. I'm gonna try it on. And it buttons up in the front. It smells a little minty. So I'll make sure I wash this before I put it on tomorrow. So there's some pants. Yeah, they're gonna be nice and loose fitting on me. Um <clears throat> I got a size small, and this is gonna be a really good button up shirt. And this is probably what I'm gonna be wearing for like two days after the surgery because I know I'm not supposed to be taking a shower. So, yeah, wear something loose fitting that you can either button or zip. And if you're going to get like a BBL or a, a liposuction or whatever, like wear like 
a muumu dress, like one of those really big loose fitting dresses if they allow you to put some, like raise your hand over your head. Cause I'm not sure if this is standard not to have anything to pull over your head or if that's just because our breast augmentations, you really shouldn't be lifting your hand. But like try to wear something really, really loose that you don't have to squeeze into. Also, you will want easy to slip on flat shoes. Let me show y'all my sandals, I'm not gonna wear. Oh, they're not here. Okay, I can't show y'all. They're in the room. They're just regular slip-on sandals that you wear at home. They're inside shoes. Um, do not bring any valuables or wear any jewelry, no earrings, chains, toe rings, other metal piercings, watches, none of that. If you're wearing a wedding ring, they're gonna have to tape it. You must have an adult to drive you. Um, if you're not recovering at home, it's important that we have the number where you will be after surgery. Now, there are two more pills that you're going to also need to begin taking um, right before surgery, and that's to help with swelling and something else. So, Arnica and bro, bro, Bromelin, something like that. But these two things, um, same thing. They want to tell you that they have this at their location, and it's going to be $35 each. Baby girl, go right on Amazon or go right down to the description box and I'm going to have the links to where you can get them for way less than that, okay? I don't know how much it is. I probably put it on the screen somewhere of how much each of these things are, but, and I get it. We all got to make our little coins, but tomorrow I will definitely be taking Oh Lord, I feel like an old person. I definitely be taking all of these together. And they say to continue taking these even after the surgery. So I'm gonna most likely finish all of this um, before I stop doing all of that extra. Follow up with your surgeon office three weeks in advance. What I gotta do, what needs to be done, what do y'all need from me? Follow up with them two weeks before. What do y'all need? What do we need to do? Because a lot of the times, these surgeons' offices, they be so busy dealing with everybody, their mama, their cousin, their sister, their auntie, their brother, them, that they're not getting back to you. And you're running around like a chicken with his head cut off, okay? Don't know what the heck going on. No. I'm giving you all the info that you need so that you're not in my position when you decide to do yours, or when yours is coming around the corner. Get things done, sis, so you can have a peaceful, stress-free experience. So you don't have to go in there cussing everybody out. Because I wasn't gonna cuss anybody out, but I just feel like, you know, it is what it is. You control the controllable. So make sure you do all your stuff as early as possible. Don't do anything a month in advance, aside from taking your supplements because your lab only lasts for a month. So follow up with these people, stay on top of these people. I call my surgeon's office so much to the point where whenever, when, when I do call, they be like, hello, Alexandra. They already know what time it is. When they answer, hello, Alexandra, how are you? Are you coming in today for your appointment? They already know what time it is. Cause I call so much, cause stop playing with your girl, okay? And also they're very, very polite. I'm really hoping that this video is super informative and that y'all are getting a lot of value out of this. Oh, another thing, when you're doing your x-rays, if you are pressed for time, if you tell them it's for post-op, they're going to rush it. So it's not gonna take their regular three to four days. It's just gonna take 24 to 48 hours. But some of them say within 24 hours, they'll get it to the doctor's office. So it can be really, really fast. Just mention a post-op. But we get this body snatched, I need you to hurry up and get my records down to the doctor's office, okay? Ma'am. Okay, it is almost 10 o'clock. I did have all of my Amazon orders come in tonight. I'm gonna go over everything that I got. So this is from Walmart though. I got this, which was surprisingly cheap. I thought it was gonna be like $17, it was $12. So it'd be for me to sleep on the couch, sitting up a little bit. And being that my boobs are gonna be new and fresh, I had to see where my back. The next thing I got from Walmart is this stand. Um, I'm not sure how much the stand was, maybe like $10, I don't know. But um, I know once you get your boobs done, you can't lift your arms like past here. Like this is the maximum that they can go. And for me to be able to reach the stuff in my cabinets, 
I need to be able to stand. I need to have to stand on something because I ain't got no man here. Um, and I think that's all I got from Walmart. Now, so I ordered my bra on Amazon. My surgeon office sells the bras for fifty dollars, and I'm like, mm, I'm pretty sure I can go buy a bra on Amazon for cheaper, and I sure as heck did. So I'm gonna make sure I leave the description. I mean, leave the link to this bra in the description below. I love that it has these adjustable straps here. I'm, I'm not gonna do it right now because it's hard to do it. But I can pull this out and then latch it onto these to make it tighter. She also recommended that I get a bra that has the straps in the front. So we went with that. Um, I read the reviews. All the reviews were really, really good. Um, she recommended that I get a size medium. So I got a size medium. Um, I'm getting excited because I'm going to have titties. This is Future Alex, which I'm editing right now. I'm here because I didn't end this video the way I was supposed to. So I'm ending it now because it's already 15 minutes long and you have enough information in this video to make sure that you're prepared for your surgery okay don't have these people in this surgery place have you going crazy okay don't but be sure to check out this next video that i'm going to put right here this is going to be the footage this is going to be the footage of the day before surgery the day of surgery and i think the next four or five days i'm not sure i don't remember but pre-warning Ha, your girl is looking rough, okay? Your girl is looking rough because it was really, really rough for your girl, okay? Um, and then after that video, I'm gonna have, I've already recorded um, a two week, two or three week, and then I'm gonna record the, a month, a month and a half, two months, three months. I'm gonna give y'all those really nice periodic updates on my boobies. So be sure to subscribe, okay? Subscribe, like, comment down below.